Alrighty, so I was going to go through Android and setting up a managed Android environment. That's just not going to work. So um, what we'll do instead, like the, the, it's currently really tough to enroll because there's so many changes with Android. Uh, See, like I even created a new one and it's like request access or try the Android Enterprise demo. The Enterprise demo not right. Yeah, it makes you feel that in. But it, it gives you a QR code. So we don't want Android managing it. We want Intune managing it. And um, there's just no current way that we can get that connector. Right. We come into here, try to add an app, for instance. Click here to start the connection process. And oh, yeah, it'll let us tick that box. Launch Google to connect now. Okay. Uh, there's my mouse acting up again. Okay. So it's going to make a liar out of me. And Microsoft Intune, just bring that. Right, so <clears throat> this you just have to fill in. Right, so use your information so that you can recover it if you need to. I'm just going to fill this in and then move on to the next step. Right, so once you've filled those details in, and you can populate both fields with the exact same details, that's fine. You hit next, complete registration, and hopefully. This just automatically, yeah, look, it successfully configured the tenant. Okay, they've made that process much easier than doing it the old way. But um, still want to check that out. Methods of tokens. Well, that nice. Right, so. Set a scope tag to apply to all apps from the store. So go to tenant admin and we want to set scope tags. So of course it's going to be under roles. Doesn't make any sense, but yeah. So default, <clears throat> all of them get this one. Uh, it's a terrible idea to only have that one. Uh, so we're going to call this Android. <clears throat> Android. Uh, work. It's always a good idea to just put something in that description as well because you'll come back to it in six months time and be like what the fuck was that <coughs> right so
And we're going to use it for both apps and policies under the work profile. So what? I'll I'll get into that later. All right. So add groups. You can set a group. All right. Um, you can set a group to. Yeah, like devices. We've got no devices. We want groups, all groups. See so now, dynamic group memberships are currently <laughs> not working too great. That doesn't matter. So we just want this to be a security group. Android. Again, set your descriptions. You don't want roles to be assigned to the group. It's a dynamic device. Set a global admin as the owner. All right, now we get to add a dynamic query. So uh, device OS type equals Android and don't want category. So this is where these extension attributes can come in handy as well. But then you have to manually go adding those attributes as well. Let's see, we want got device OS type. Go device ownership equals. want personal and then save create and it's going to be an empty group because we don't have any devices there but hopefully yeah there we go so this scope tag is going to apply to these devices so we won't have to go in like if we forget to set the scope tag we won't have to worry about it you just click on create and you can do this for anything that you can think of it's the same process Right now we come under apps, Android. Okay, so it's already put a few things in there for us. Uh, right, so we don't really want them. Let's just say. Get a managed Google Play app. All right. We want something because <clears throat> what's going to happen is there's going to be a completely separate uh, profile on our device completely separate apps so we want microsoft office right now 
you can install all these individually, right? And in reality, you're just going to be viewing documents on a phone. I don't know anyone who's crazy enough to actually compose a spreadsheet or <laughs> an entire Word document off their mobile device. You would literally just use it to view something. Alright, so that's selected. Uh, do we hit sync? I don't know. That's changed quite a bit since I last used it. Uh, we want OneNote. Because if you use OneNote, like, <laughs> this is super handy. Super handy to have on the go if you've got everything that you need. Um, okay. Oh, this is handy. Microsoft Lens is amazing as well. Uh, you may want to do as well if you use to do to help keep track of your tasks. Uh, you want OneDrive, you want Office, yeah. SharePoint's a bit meh. Let's see. You will want a camera app of sorts as well. Because they do keep, like, everything is separated. Uh, one major benefit of doing this is so you can put Microsoft Teams on your phone and then sign into it with your real life job profile. And when you are sending stuff over Teams, the chances of you sending an offensive meme by accident are reduced to almost zero. As long as you don't save them in your work profile, you can't get those offensive memes over to Teams. And yeah. Uh, Google Keep is good as well. That's good for keeping notes on the go. Much easier than doing mobile OneNote. Uh, I prefer Edge over Chrome. You can put literally whatever browser you want. And yeah, that should just about do it. Add apps. Wow, this is much better. Hit sync, and I guess you just wait for it to sync. Yeah, look, there's the fence. One note. All right, so now what you have to do, all right. Uh, just don't click the hamburger menu. Go over here. Scope tags. Select scope tags. Android work profile apps. Right. And you can come back and add whatever other tags you want. Now for assignments, right, you have four levels, right, required, 
means it will automatically install. The user has no choice and they can't uninstall it. Available for enrolled devices just means so you get the company portal app on your phone and then you enroll your device and then you look under the apps portion of the company portal application and you can then download it from there or it's possible that there is a google play that you can open and it's only got the apps that it says uh, you can actually unrestrict that and allow people to use whatever apps under a work profile but um i prefer to set it up with restricted and like if you're in a corporate environment you don't want like because you can set it up so that a device is android enterprise and it uses like it <laughs> it does only the things that you say it can do so if it's someone's work phone that's supplied to them by the company you don't want them just downloading whatever app and you've got to put certain restrictions on so that company data can't be leaked and you know so if they lose the phone it can be located or remote wiped or whatever but yeah <clears throat> and then you can make it so that the app's available with or without enrollment so again that's under the company portal if they're not um if they don't enroll the device fully they'll still be able to get that app. And then if you've pushed an app out and you need to get it removed. So uh, what I tend to do as well, right? okay. Yeah. And that's assigned again, give it the admin as the owner. <clears throat> so we'll have our groups. This other one will appear shortly. <coughs> so we add the group Android app remove, and you accidentally put someone getting an app that you don't want them to have. You can then add them to this group, sync their device, and it will remove the app. Word of warning, don't go adding it to every single device. And if you put a user in there, remove them from it once you've taken them out. All right. Um, but for this one, yeah, we're just going to go, yep, yeah, it's company policy, Android devices must have this app. 
Where are our other apps? Now see that says assigned. All right, so we'll do the same thing over here. Go to properties, edit the scope tag. Now I have not found a way to automate this process. I'm just going to do it because I want these apps to just go in there. Um, okay. Let's get back over to manage Google Play. See where the hell all these apps went. Oh, serious. Oh. They did not go. Right. Um, right. So we want OneDrive. Got that. Get the Google Keep. Yeah, uh, Google Lens. Yeah, you want a picture viewer as well, so get your gallery. Uh, teams. Oh, Outlook. Yeah, you want Outlook too. Google Camera. All right. Add apps. Ah, that's right. I didn't hit save. All right. You hit save. Then sync. Ah. Now, this one, you know, if we I might find another phone around here somewhere that I can set up as an enterprise phone. Yeah, because like you can eventually have all of these set as yes, but these ones only go to uh, enterprise setup. So that's a corporate device. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to, on my phone, get the company portal. So I'm just going to sign in as my regular user. Right, yeah, I just got an error. <laughs> Need to assign a license and access. So, yeah, the users must have an Intune license. So, most, <clears throat> most uh, plans do come with an Intune license of sorts. 
Yeah, it's a, it's assigned at the org level, so it can't be assigned per user, but you still have to assign a license on the account. So I'm just going to sign in again. Needs to needs to complete a sync. Um, I don't believe this will make any difference. Keep track and go. I'm typing the right. I don't believe that's actually going to make any difference. But um, some people believe, right? So this goes on a 30 minute cycle, right? And that will go through. And then once this has completed syncing, it triggers the next lot of syncing between AD and uh, everywhere else. So like Exchange, OneDrive, so yeah, Mail. Yeah, cool. So that synced my mailbox. There we go. What do you know? Probably coincidence, but um, how are these other groups? Thing with Intune too is patience is key. Yeah, cool. So all those other apps are there just waiting. I'm going to kick off another sync. And we can... Oops. Connect this own token. Which Google Play. It's 10.32. Right. Where are my apps? So, currently my device is not managed. So, on my phone, I've signed in. Um, all right, just going to go back. Company portal. All right, so connecting, signing in. So currently I've got one notification. Company access setup is incomplete. Right. So I I've got three tabs at the top. Apps, devices, support. I've got to go to devices, my Android, and then push the little button saying that it's not managed, and then click begin to create my work profile now you'll get a whole bunch of stuff it says what it can't see and then what it may see doesn't matter just set your work profile up agree to everything 
get through. And I'm just going to go back because that should have been bringing apps over. Why are they not coming over? I wonder if that it did anything. It needs to be. Yeah, it needs to just go. It's like tell it to do a bunch of things. <clears throat> it's all good, right? So I've created my work profile. Now I must continue so that it activates my work profile. Currently registering the device. Outlook always one, by the way, three so in work versions. You always want the one with the white letter, not the white square, just the white letter. One by one, right. Now, update device settings. Yep, yeah, that's done. Let's say, got it. All right, and then on your phone, you'll have in your app drawer, you'll see down the bottom, personal, and then work. So now you can open your uh, you've got a Play Store. Right. Because we haven't actually set the device up, we need to. Right, so you go to Get Apps. sync the device to get the management policy. We haven't created that yet, but uh, that's okay. Okay, Outlook's showing up now. So we've got OneDrive, Outlook, frame just any app that you want, you can basically do. Select, sync. All right. So, I mean, we've already gone through that. I'm sure you know how to do that now. Right, so just going to see if there's any other options. Okay, there's no other options currently. Devices, we have one device. Personally owned work profile is my phone. Oh. Let's 
Sweet. So if we go to properties, you can won't let me change anything. Alright, skate tags. It is set for personal device category unsigned. Ooh. I'll set that group. Alright. Oh, yeah. Device OS type. Device ownership. Alright. So I'll set device ownership to personal. So it should really be in there, but let's see, if we go back here, dynamic group memberships have not been updated due to system delays, <laughs> so that's not going to work, uh, we can come back to that. Right, so discovered apps, device compliance. Right, so the main thing we want to do is click on devices, come down to compliance policies, and create one. Create one for Android, um, AOSP. Device health, rooted devices lock because they can get around what we're trying to do. Minimum OS version, um, I wouldn't want anything lower than Android 10 because that's all this shit. Require a password to unlock. And uh, device default because it's a personal device, right? You want, you don't want to enforce changes on someone's personal device, just have a minimum. Right? No, well, you can use your personal device, but if you want to, you must at least have a password on it. So Right, so actions for non-compliance, mark device non-compliance immediately, and then send an email to the user, message template, we haven't got one. <laughs> So we've got to create message templates. Right. Okay, let's just get rid of that one. Uh, we'll just mark it as non-compliant and have no consequences. And that applies to that scope. Assignments add to this group. And there's no exclusions. Regime create there. Oh, in tune update. Time to be doing this, huh? Right in the middle of the freaking update. Right. 
So back to Device is pretty good. Yeah, all right. Ooh, I like this. All right, what have we got? Manage devices. So set up compliance. Uh, this mainly just applies to Windows. Additional access. So again, that comes down to here. That's taken us out of itching. Uh, pretty much covered all of Android for Intune anyway. Um, it's starting to get a bit late and well, Intune's in the middle of an update. So I think I should call it here and We'll run through setting up Intune for Windows devices. We'll do that next. Yeah, and set up an enterprise Android in another one. 